Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. Happy Friday and welcome to another episode, if you will, of Post Review Friday. On most Fridays, not every Friday, but most Fridays I like to talk about a diamond painting that I've recently finished. I think we've gone a couple of weeks without me having a Post Review Friday for you guys because I worked on this massive kit. So this is Everest from Diamond Art Club. The artist is Dakota Detweiler. This is a 55.8 centimeter by 111.8 centimeter. I forgot to grab my log book. <laughs> I started this kit on, oh no, did I not keep, oh shoot. I didn't update my log book. Oh no. I know I started this kit on July 1st. <sighs> Did I start it on July 1st? I had to have written this down somewhere. Let me go see if I can find where I wrote it down. Okay, <laughs> I didn't write it down, but I texted Steven when I finished. So at least there's that. <laughs> so I started this on July 1st and I finished it on July 13th, which is kind of shocking to me, if I'm gonna be honest. I thought that this kit would take me much, much longer. Um, but I'll tell you why I think it didn't in a second. So this is a round drill kit. Again, this is from Diamond Art Club from the artist Dakota Detweiler. Unfortunately, this diamond painting has been discontinued, which is such a bummer because it is very majestic. <laughs> I'm gonna go ahead and pop up a full length image for you guys here. Uh, I'm probably going to try to pop up full length images throughout the video because I can't get the entire diamond painting in frame and I'm being lazy and not filming in my other setup, which is on the floor, which is where I normally get in these larger <laughs> diamond paintings. So hopefully popping up the images is okay with you guys. Um, but let's go ahead and talk about this kit. Now, this diamond painting like I mentioned, is very large, and I assumed it would take me probably about half the month to finish, which I guess it kind of did. I'm trying to think of how many days are in July. 31? 30? 31? 30, I think. Um, so I, I guess it took me a little bit under half of the month. Now, I was away on a 4th of July vacation. I had a five-day weekend, so I did get a lot of diamond painting done. Uh, had I not taken that break. I don't know that I would have finished it as quickly, but I will say once you get past the rocks here, the top, which is just about halfway, I would say, the top of this diamond painting is pure color blocking heaven. <laughs> I was able to finish like two or three sections a night once I got up to this uh, more color blocky area. So if you do have this one in your stash and you're kind of intimidated by the size, which is, that is what kind of kept me from working on this one sooner. I was like, oh, this is gonna be such a big kit. Yes, it is. But once you get past, like I said, the bottom half, it's really smooth sailing. And even with the amount of confetti on the bottom half, I still was moving through it quite quickly. I would consider this more of a color blocking confetti than a true, uh, like a true confetti diamond painting. So really nice to work on just because, I don't know, I had that like accomplishment of I'm getting through this really, really big kit. I'm making really good time. Now that doesn't matter to everybody. And if this was the only kit I was able to finish this month, I would have, I would have been fine with that. Um, but when you have a large stash, <laughs> like I do, um, being able to work through your kits pretty quickly is, it just, it, it feels good. It feels good to know that you're moving through your stash. So again, if you have this one in your collection and you're kind of hesitant to work on it because of the size, I would... I would give it a go. I really would. And if you want to maybe get through the color blocking first so you feel like you're accomplishing a lot, I would recommend starting in the top uh, left or right corner. 
but if you're someone like me who prefers to kind of get all the confetti and everything out of the way, definitely start on the bottom. So let me pull this up a little bit so you guys can see. So here is the confetti section and it's really not even that bad. Uh, like I mentioned, it definitely felt more like color blocking confetti. So I was able to get in there with a seven placer and lay down some of the bigger colors and then come back in, uh, in single place or use a smaller multi-placer to get the smaller amount of colors. So I don't know if it's going to pick up on camera, but there's a ton of, what is it? 762? Yeah, 762 fairy dust. There's a ton of it in this section. Uh, Diamond Art Club used it to kind of depict the white caps on the waves, if you will. And um, there's just, there's a lot of, a lot of that, a lot of straight lines, a lot of color blocking for that. Um, I have to say, rendering wise, I absolutely love the way the little crab came out. I think I need to turn it this way for you guys. Don't mind the cat hair. <laughs> There's plenty of it. But we have the little crab here, which we have named Clarence, if you were interested in knowing. <laughs> um, but I absolutely love how the reflection came out. So you can see that the, like where the water came up on the sand and it's kind of going back. You can see the reflection of the crab. And I think that that came out so, so well. I also think that the waves turned out quite well around the rocks. I liked how um, you kind of get the crashing wave against the rock motion. I think that that's depicted really well. Um, obviously by Dakota Detweiler, the artist, but also by Diamond Art Club when they rendered it. Let me pull this down a little bit so you can see the lighthouse, which is just so big. <laughs> Uh, I really love the, um, I'm trying to think of the word. What am I thinking? Mm, the scale, I guess. I love the scale of how large the lighthouse is. I think that it's obviously our focal point and, um, it was really, really fun to work on this one, uh, to work on this area of the diamond painting. The one thing that I will say, and I'm a little disappointed in myself because I ended up not adding any extra drills. Uh, I wish that there was something in the top of the lighthouse. There's no special drills or anything over here. And I definitely think if I were to do this one again, which I won't be, but <laughs> if I was to do it again, I would definitely put something up in uh, the tippy top of the lighthouse. As far as the kit itself, um, I will say that I had some issues with the poured glue, which kind of is somewhat of a theme for me with Diamond Art Club. Um, I think it's been a couple of kits since I've talked about it because it really hasn't been an issue, but I often struggle with the amount of poured glue on the canvases from Diamond Art Club. And it wasn't the entirety of the kit, it was just small little areas. So I would open my section and I would get ready to place my drills and I couldn't get them off my pen because there wasn't enough glue or it was really slippery or what have you. Um, it wasn't bad enough to tick me off to not finish the kit, I just pushed through it. Um, and like I said, it wasn't large areas. It was maybe like a small part of a section that I was working on. So not the end of the world, it was definitely doable but I do sometimes have that problem with Diamond Art Club kits. I've actually been thinking about buying their, um, they have their adhesive in a bottle that you can put back on your canvas to kind of revive the, the stickiness. If any of you have used that, please let me know what you think because I might pick that up with my next Diamond Art Club order. Um, otherwise, the canvas itself was great. The um, the drill field was great. I didn't have any issues with blurry symbols or anything like that. Um, the kit came together very quickly, very nicely. My only kind of like blip on the radar was the stickiness or lack thereof in certain parts of the diamond painting. So let's talk about the drills. Here they are. <laughs> we did hit this one up together 
I believe. I think I did a kit and chat plus choose my accessories for this one. Um, I did not run out of any colors. I had plenty of everything left, which was very nice. Um, this is a massive, massive diamond painting as we've already established. And I feel like the amount of trash I had for this big of a diamond painting is amazing. Now I don't really love Diamond Art Club's new rounds. Their old rounds were my favorite. I have talked about that many, many times on my channel. I think this is probably the best kit that I've worked on with their newer version of rounds. I don't know what version we're on right now, but <laughs> this kit came out uh, maybe late last year because I haven't bought many diamond paintings this year. So it must have been late last year and I did pick it up when it released. Um, so these are somewhat new round drills from them and I was pretty impressed with them for this particular kit. This is definitely, like I said, my best experience with the newer rounds. So these are all the trash drills I had for this 55.8 by 111.8 centimeter diamond painting. That is amazing. <laughs> um, I also had this really weird diamond. It's, it looks like a special shape diamond for some other type of kit. I don't know. And then I had one little lone square drill in there. But otherwise, it was just round drills that either had holes in the top, were oddly shaped, extra little pieces, uh, nothing too egregious. <laughs> so all in all, I was very happy with the drills. I think that... Um, I think that Diamond Art Club is, is working on them. You know, when they first reformulated them, most people didn't enjoy them. And I think that they are slowly but surely getting them back to where people want them to be. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and pop up another picture for you guys here. Hopefully I've remembered to pop up a few for you guys along the way. And let's talk about my accessories for this kit. So my containers are the Harbor Freight... Um, containers. These are some of my favorite. I like how big they are and I can just dump drills in and not really have to think about it. I'm going to move you guys down just a tiny bit. I had you guys up very high so I could try to get as much of the uh, diamond painting in. Uh, next up for my pen, I used this red, white, and blue one from Jim's Handmade Pen Shop. Um, this kit was kind of like my 4th of July patriotic kit, so I decided to go for this really pretty pen. And then I used this tray here from Bijou Bliss. It's a really pretty blue sparkly one. The stopper is somewhere. I don't know where. <laughs> I did break my 7 placer when I was, I think I only had two sections left. It snapped right off, so I put a 12 placer on just temporarily and I used some generic purple wax but when I was using my seven placer I was using the blue icy slushy putty from they are now rose mud they used to be excuse me designs they no longer sell in these packages anymore they do the like ziploc baggy ones uh here's the the stopper for my tray ah. I really like the putty from, excuse me, Designs. I haven't tried the rose mud version. I believe it's the same formula. Um, I need to make a purchase at some point. I had two cover minders that I was choosing between. I ended up going with this one. I thought that the, the vibes were just a little bit better. Uh, this one is from... Galloway's Gallery, I believe. And this one is from uh mad for minders it's usually where all my wooden ones are from and then my washi tape i use this really pretty firework one it's kind of hard to see because it is clear but it has white fireworks so and that is everything for today's kit all in all i really did enjoy this one it feels nice to check off one of these really big kits in my stash I have kind of shied away from them recently. I used to do giant kits all the time, but I would say over the last year, I've kind of taken a step back from them. 
but it is cool to complete them every once in a while. So um, if you are interested in seeing me kit this one up, that is in my kit and chat playlist. And I think, I think that's it. Uh, thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I hope everybody has a great weekend. I will be back with you all on Monday for, I believe it will be a whip and chat. I don't think I'll be able to finish my <laughs> current project before then. So I hope everybody has a great weekend and I hope to see you all on Monday. Bye.